Titans and myths, Achilles and his gold, Achilles and his gifts, Spider-Man's control. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Last month I did a Q&A video for you guys answering all the questions that you leave me down in the comments and at the end of that video I asked you guys if you had any other questions and you had plenty of them so I figured I would do an updated July Q&A video for you guys. A lot of these questions had to do with either my video on my life working on board Carnival Cruise Lines or the video I had on working at home and all the various jobs that I mentioned in those videos. But I tried to collect my most frequently asked questions so I had a little bit of variety in the questions I'd be answering in today's Q&A. If you yourself have questions and you're new to this channel, uh, you can leave questions down below for future Q&A videos with hashtag Q the number four, and Kristen, right as you see on the screen. But without any further ado, let's get to your questions. Question one, do you have a favorite food? I don't think I can narrow it down to like one dish. I love Mexican food, I love Italian food, and I love Greek food. I could not pick like one dish I could have for the rest of my life. Maybe in the future when I start doing like recipe videos. I think I offended a spoon. Anyway, maybe in the future I'll have a favorite recipe, but I do not have a favorite food at this time. When that changes, I will let you know. Any upcoming summer adventures? I actually just live streamed and I asked you guys what you wanted to see in future videos and somebody said we want to see more vlogs of your summer adventures. So I can spoil a little bit and let you guys know that I have booked another concert with a symphony here in Columbus and I will be vlogging our rehearsals, I'll be vlogging my dress fitting, I'll be vlogging, we're gonna go and have meetings to pick out the repertoire and the songs we're gonna do and of course I will have somebody filming the actual performance. Keep your eye out for that. If you missed previous adventures, I will link them down below in the comment section. I went to Louisville, Kentucky with a bunch of bachelorettes. That's always fun. And then I took a vacation trip to St. Louis to see the Arch and visit my sister and explore the city. Both of those will be down below in the description box. You can check those out if you miss them. All right, next question. When working on ships, did you have someone clean your cabin? Yes, I was lucky enough I had somebody on every ship I worked on through Carnival Cruise Lines. I had a cabin steward that came through and cleaned our cabin. Um, we did not have to pay this person, but it was considered respectful to tip them and I always did. I always left like a little envelope with their name and like a little card for them and they were all so nice. But yes, I did have the cabin steward on board ships when I worked there. Kristen, it's so cool that you also live in Columbus. What are your favorite activities to do in the city? My favorite activities? Um, I don't have like one particular because there's so much that goes on here. Um, I like to go to the Fox in the Snow, which is my favorite coffee shop. And then my favorite place to go in the city that's not like a retail place is called the Scioto Mile. But in terms of activities, I don't have any one specific thing I like to do. Um, my girlfriends and I have been trying out wine and canvas, which I'm sure is not just a Columbus-based thing. But honestly, whenever I want to try something, I just go on social media. There is an Instagram page I work with called Experience Columbus. I'm sure there's experience for any major city in the United States. Through Experience Columbus, I have found various food tastings, wine tastings, open nights at the Columbus Museum of Art, the Columbus Zoo, free yoga classes, like you can find anything. So I don't have a specific favorite thing, but I do like to check out Experience Columbus to see what activities happen here in the city. Have you ever considered writing a book about your cruise adventures? I have considered writing a book about it. I have a couple projects that I always think I will do and I never get around to it and writing a book about my adventures working on board cruise ships is on that list. I really feel like I should get on it in the next couple years. Some of my friends have actually written books about their adventures working on board cruise ships. Um, one of my girlfriends wrote a book. She was a social host. So she was the one that ran your bingos, your trivia. She worked with the cruise director. She wrote a book. I will look it up on Amazon and I will shamelessly plug her video or video and I will shamelessly plug her book. I actually should read it. She said I mentioned in there somewhere, which makes me a little nervous. Let's just move on. Kristen, do you have any tips on how to better manage your day? I actually have a video on that, which I'll link this one above in the cards. It was when I was actually working with the symphony that I previously mentioned. I was juggling a lot of like clients I was working with in my piano studio and I was getting a lot of singers ready for auditions on top of working my day job, YouTube, and getting the symphony concert together. So I vlogged a couple of our rehearsals and I just made a video on how I was managing all these different facets of life. So make sure to check that out 
in the cards. And to simply answer your question, I would say make a list. If you don't keep a planner of any kind, at least make a list and then prioritize what on that list needs to get done first, what can wait until tomorrow, what has deadlines, and what has somebody else waiting for you to finish to complete each project. Kristen, would you ever consider doing YouTube full time? Okay, um, if this question means live only on Google AdSense, absolutely not. Just because your revenue and your views, they fluctuate so much depending on what's trending and what's popular. I don't think any YouTuber that does live off of YouTube does it solely off of your YouTube AdSense money. If I were to do more projects and collaborations with people and I worked with more clients on how to build their brands and their networks and their channels, maybe, but I could not do it just on YouTube AdSense alone. I hope that answered your question. If you meant it in another way, let me know down below in the comments. Anyway, those are all the questions I have for you guys today. Once again, if you have any questions that you wanna be featured in these Q&A videos, leave them down below in the description box with the hashtag, letter Q, the number four, and Kristen. If you like these kind of Q&A videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the little red subscription button. It is down below next to a bell. Click the subscription button and the bell. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Am I really going to film outside and it's going to rain? Really? All right, next question. Recipe videos? Some superhero, some fairy tale bliss, just something I can turn to, somebody I can kiss. I